AI for Meta is the future. We're in the middle of a pivot to the next age of information, of entertainment, of data processing. From a perspective of infrastructure, AI compute systems are incredibly power intensive. They require much more computing power, much more storage, and an incredible amount of interconnectivity between all of the compute nodes. AI and machine learning provides the basis for algorithms that are run in Meta's data centers. This includes things like news feeds, uh, ranking, content understanding, recommendations, and many other things. And the traditional CPUs are not equipped to handle these kind of demands from the applications. Therefore, it is required to be able to sustain the levels of performance that we need to go to a tailored solution that does a better job and does it much more efficiently. MTIA stands for Meta Training and Inference Accelerators. It's a chip that is optimized for running the workloads that we care about and tailored specifically for those needs. By having it in-house, we are able to optimize every single nanometer of the chip so we don't have any part of the architecture that is wasted in terms of area. And that helps to bring down the power for the chip that effectively reduce the cost for the ASIC. The benefit of building our own in-house ASICs is that we have access to the real workloads that are used uh, by our ads team and other groups here at Meta, so we can perform performance analysis on our design. And through this process, we can analyze and fine tune and tweak all the parameters that go into a high performance solution. By incorporating the silicon with the software environment, we are able to speed up the software development cycles and deploy the models at a much faster pace and help to improve the user experience. We developed a compiler technology that runs under PyTorch environment. MTIA efficiently executes on those workloads with the highest performance and lowest power. We achieved twice the efficiencies compared to today's GPUs. So MTIA was designed with collaboration with a lot of cross-functional teams that care about the chip, the board, the system, the rack, the data center, their constraints and optimizations, as well as the software parts of it, firmware, compiler, application level, runtimes, PyTorch, models, application models. So all of this has come together to put a system that is optimized and tailored for Meta's workloads. And MTIA is just one piece of it. By having an in-house design, we basically take control of our destiny and we're able to specify the architecture of the design and match it with the roadmap for the workload that is coming out in the future. <laughs>